Hey guys, welcome back to Chef Talk and welcome back to Chef Talk Movie Reviews. If this is your first time here, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you get that or hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload a video. <laughs> also, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Now, let's get to my review of Uncle Kent. Uncle Kent was directed by Joe Swanberg, who is probably better known for the TV series Easy. Um, Uncle Kent was written by Kent Osborne and Joe Swanberg. Uncle Kent stars Kent Osborne, Josephine Decker, Jennifer Prodiger, Kevin Brustorf, and Joe Swanberg. Quick synopsis. synopsis. A man tries to have sex with his house guest that he met on the internet. I don't even know why I watched this movie. <laughs> Maybe it was because my media server lied to me and said that this movie came out in 2020. And when it really came out in January 21st, 2011. Yeah, nine years ago. Um, I had never even heard of Joe Swanberg or Kent Osborne before this movie, and hopefully won't hear about either one after this movie as or after this review. <laughs> this movie is pretty much what I said in the synopsis. Kent plays a kid's cartoonist that seems to have no life but to go home and go on chat roulette looking for people to talk to. I don't really remember how he invited this girl to come stay at his home while she was out in LA, but this is really but this is really the start of the movie, I guess. It, and it really seems that Kate and Kent want to have sex with each other, but for some reason they never do. She wants Kent to be a boyfriend type without the sex, and Kent wants Kate to be the girlfriend type without dealing with all the commitment baggage that goes along with it. To say that this is a disaster waiting to happen is an understatement. I think if both of them would have actually sat down with each other and put all the cards on the table, maybe they could have worked things out. But of course not. Both, but of course not. Both act like the the other is wanting something that is totally out of the question, and just seems to drive a wedge deeper and deeper into their friendship until both sides can't really handle it anymore. What to say about our actors and Uncle Ken? It really seemed like they were just trying so hard to be real people instead of actors playing their roles, which led to their performances being really lackluster. I couldn't really tell you anything they did that st really stood out to me. I don't think these actors really had much experience before this movie, and of course, I l also lay the blame at the feet of the writers and directors, oh, who just so happened to be part of the main parts of this movie. Where to begin with cinematography? I would expect this type of film from first year film students who are putting together a film for the final first year project, but this seems to be from someone that is known for putting together these types of quality movies, and by quality I mean low quality. I don't know why people don't invest in gimbals for their cameras to give them better quality. Too many people think that these shaky camera scenes add realism or something, but they don't. They just make the... make it... <laughs> but they don't. They just make for a bad scene. And also, did no one go to school for lighting? Every scene, unless it was outside, had such poor lighting. I get it. You're trying to do realism and most homes are not well lit, or are not these well lit places. But you are also trying to shoot a film, so I would love to see the actors or the surroundings they are in. Overall, this movie just is just boring from start to finish. It had a runtime of just over an hour, and really felt like a first year film student where students were making a project for class and didn't have time for and didn't have access to all the tools really needed to make a really good film. I think even in 2011 people had access to film tools more, e more easily than not and it would have helped them buy and it would have helped them to buy a few lights just to light up the sets. <laughs> <sighs> With all that being said, Chef Talk is giving Uncle Kent one Chef out of five. But that is all I have time for today. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, check out some of these videos over here. I'll guarantee you they're better than this one and the, the movie it is based on. But that is all I have time for. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next review.